Okay, this is just a quick tutorial where I'll be showing how to uh, basically a quick way of creating um, an animation of a camera flying down the tunnel. And because I've seen other people do tutorials on a similar thing and they seem to always do it the hard way where they model the tunnel. But basically there's a quick way of doing it with the there's a quick way of doing it with the grease pencil. So that's what we'll be doing here. So if you Start off with a blank blender scene, and then we just X to delete the default cube. And then, if you then go, press 7, seven to go into top view. And then just scroll out a bit. And then what we'll be doing is, um, if on the left, if you go into, select the grease pencil, And then basically you just click on draw and what that will do is it will allow you to actually draw or what you do now is you just whatever shape of tunnel you want to do you just basically draw it so it just saves a lot of time sort of having to mess around trying to model a tunnel and you can put all kinds of twists and turns in it now you might be thinking, making it this complicated is going to make things hard, but as you'll see, it's not as it's not going to be as bad as you think. Okay, so now once we've drawn our crazy tunnel, you then on the left side in the panel, then you go to convert geometry, and then you convert it to a path. And so now what will happen is a path has now appeared underneath the grease pencil. So all we can do is you can get, press T to get rid of the tool shelf. And if you press N, you'll see where the grease layer has been, um, sorry, the layer for the grease pencil is. And if you just take that away, then what's left is the actual curve um, that is, um, has basically been created from that grease pencil drawing. But of course, this curve looks, it's in a pretty bad state. So if we, um, when you look at it, you wouldn't really want to be sort of sending something down there or even creating a tunnel from it. So what we do next is there's an add-on, which is base, which you basically have to activate. It's, it's off by default. So if you go into user preferences, And then go into add-ons and just type um, just type simp and then there's an add-on called add curve, add curve simplify curves. So then if you click on that and you close the window and so now what you do is if you um, uh, actually another thing probably best to do since we're going to be doing using this as an animation is if we go into the properties for it the object properties and then you as you scroll down and then you click cyclic i mean you only have to do this if you want it to actually be a continuous loop for it to go around and round okay so now if you just press the space bar and well, as you can see, I've already, but what you do, just type SIM, and then you'll see it simplify curves. And now what happens is created another curve. And in the, basically, if you open up the left side toolbar with T, you'll see that there's a number down, um, where it's the simplified curves and the error in blender units. Basically, as you increase that, it smooths out the curve so as you keep clicking you'll see it's getting smoother and smoother and so what you basically do is keep clicking until it looks like a very sort of nice curve that you you can see that it would be easy for your um object to actually go around so that looks like a good one so what we can do is go with that and t to get rid of the sidebar and what it's done is created another curve on top of the old one 
So if you click the old curve, and you can just do M, just move it to a layer temporarily, to another layer. And so now our, you notice that this curve is actually not um, cyclic anymore. So you click the U if you want. But this is something other th problem you have is if you try and click that because it's a of the type of curve it is it's a 2D curve and 2D curves actually um, end up having faces if you actually um, make it cyclic. So what you have to do is remove that temporarily. And so the next thing you want to do in order to make this a proper curve that we can send an object around is we need to actually make it three dimensional. And so the way to do that is in the objects properties, you click on the 3D. And now if you go and press tab to go into edit mode, what you can do now is you you have to actually move the points so that the um, the actual path isn't doesn't intersect anymore. You just have to make sure so you move each of the points. In order so that the they actually go over each other and then you move them in such a way so it's as smooth as you can get. Right, so the important thing is making sure that there are no intersecting points, so that at all points it either goes over or under. And then once you've done that, you can then click on cycling and it will join now without you having to, without creating any faces. And also, once you create the tunnel, what that means is that it will stop the tunnel from intercepting. Or crossing itself. Okay, so then we have the... So then we have the track. So now the next thing is we have to get the camera onto that track. So now what you do is if we give that a, um, so we go back into object mode, just give that a decent name. Okay, so now if we select the camera, And then in the, with the camera, if we then go to the constraint, and then basically you, you select um, follow path. And now, and in the target, you select the track. And then basically you just animate path and follow curve. And now, you see that the there is a line. Well, well, basically, what happens if you press Alt A? What you'll find now is that the camera will fly around the track, and it's going at a very high speed as well. So, if you want that to go a bit slower, what we have to do is increase the number of frames.
So if you set the end frame, end frame to something like 1200, actually let's make it 600. And what we have to do is go to the track and then these properties, if you change the number of frames, the pass even uses to 600 as well so that it goes completely around in one go and now if you do Alt A you see that the camera is actually going around a lot slower now but you notice that it is a bit of a way from the track so what you basically have to do next is if you select the camera and then if you go into object and clear, and then you do clear location, and that will then move it basically to the track. But you notice it's pointing in a funny direction, so the next thing you have to do is object, clear rotation, and then that makes it point in a set direction. And if we do alt a now, so you'll notice that it goes round quite smoothly now. But of course, it's pointing down, so what we just need to do is rotate it along the X. I think it's 90. Oh, no, sorry, that's location. Okay. Alright, so, um, so if you go to the rotation of the camera, so X, if you try 90, and so now it's facing along the track. So now if we do Alt A, it actually follows the track quite nicely. So that's the beginning part. So now, in order to get the tunnel, what we have to do is click on the track again. And if we do Shift D to duplicate it, And then if we move it to move it to another layer. So what we're gonna do now is to is to use this one as the tunnel. So in order to do that we have to go back into the um go back into the object properties and then there's an option First, we have to go into edit. Um, okay, so oops. right, and so the um, in order to get it um, to, to look uh, like a tube, what we do is the bevel. We can increase that. So if we change that to Point five, and yeah, that's okay. Okay, so that looks, um, yeah, I suppose that'll be okay for now. Um, but you notice that it's like an open. Um, it's only got two sides on it, so basically we have to change the fill for the bevel from half to full, so that makes it into a tube. And then we have it as a tube, and it seems to seems to just about be okay. Okay, and so then the other thing is. Um, it's a bit square at the moment, so what we have to do is increase the resolution. We can put it to something like four, and that gives us our our tunnel. And 
and so at the moment it's actually still a curve so the other thing we need to do is to convert it by doing alt c and then we do um mesh from curve and so now it's become a mesh and that makes it easier for anything else that we want to do with it and so now if we basically um go back or put the two scenes or the two layers together with the camera and the original path then basically we can see that the the camera should be in the tunnel somewhere and what we can do is if we press zero you can actually end up inside the tunnel and then if we do alt a and there you have it And so simple as that, well, it wasn't that simple, but basically it's certainly a lot easier than having to sit there and try to model a tunnel for like half an hour going up, down, left, right, all over the place, when you can just use the grease pencil to do it in a reasonably straightforward way. And admittedly, I didn't bother to like do a test run for this, I just wanted to do it straight off. Well, I did do it once before, but I didn't practice it. But um, from what I could see, this you can actually come up with quite a decent tunnel animation, um, you know, for starting from something like this. Okay, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Okay, bye.